And I think a lot of young people are like just really lost. And some of us have found or reclaimed a meaningfulness through establishment, like through this institution of the church, but mostly through relationship with Christ and with each other. You know, when I was in college, some of the sense of doing Eucharistic adoration was seen as something like, oh man, that's really radical. In the last 20 years, that pendulum has swung far to the right. Interest in, the, for example, the tr traditional Latin Mass, that is a real thing. We have it here on campus, and it's a pretty significant group. Thoughts on Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon this team as they start practice. Give them uh, the virtues of fortitude, of courage, Perseverance, of I am completely unaffected. <laughs> Young women now who are wanting to enter religious life, they want to enter full throttle and they want to be like brides of Christ. And to wear a habit is to really signify that every day. It's just like a renewal of some good, like what good we had, some really, really good things that we might have lost. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father. There are a lot of things that are non-negotiable to a lot of us who are faithful Catholics. We don't believe that the church will ever say that like contraception is acceptable. Women priests is something that can be like kind of unsettling. Homosexual marriage is something that like, and a lot of us are battling with that because like now we, we have a lot of friends or like we go to school and we just meet a lot of really good people who are queer and, and so a lot of us are kind of like wrestling with that. But that is not something that will change within the church. What we see now in U.S. Catholicism is a more polarized church, but also a, a very interesting phenomenon of a globalization of Catholicism in the United States, meaning a Catholic church that looks less like Europe and more like uh, Catholicism in countries of Latin America or Africa, where there are really strong tensions between what it means to protect the family at the legislative level or legislate on LGBT rights. No, you're not gonna catch it like that. The church of the future in America is definitely going to be more orthodox, more follow the catechism and possibly even of a form that goes over the top on some of those things. But I, I think that the divides you see in Catholicism more, more or less fall along American political lines in this country. So I, I notice that a lot more these days, for sure. It's important to look at that movement not in terms of how many, because these are, in many cases, small numbers. Okay? But the most important thing is the intensity. As Catholics, I think we're obliged to love the Pope and to like not speak of him like some political figure that did stuff we didn't like. There has been no reconciliation between this pontificate and many US bishops who, who see this Pope really as someone who doesn't get America. And so this is going to make the moment when Pope Francis resigns or dies very interesting because clearly there will be from the United States the push for something very different from Pope Francis.